What's up, brothers and sisters? I hope you guys are having such a blessed day today. May the Lord be with you. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Let's remember that. I'm Colton from Seeking Wisdom. And today, I just want to share my dream that I had two nights ago. I was going to come on yesterday, but life got a little bit busy, and uh, I just couldn't, I guess, make the time for it. But now, I'm God allowed for me to be able to come on here and share it right in this moment. And I'm really excited to share this because, guys, we are living so close to the Lord's return to the rapture of the church okay and i'm not going to really get into pre you know pre-tribulation post-trib mid-trib whatever it is guys because i trust the lord with all my heart and if you truly are born again you can know and rest and find peace for your soul not really knowing exactly pinpointing his time of his return but knowing the urgency of how soon it is and how prophecy is unfolding at at a rate like never before okay we we see the bible coming alive so the dream that I had um, last night, or two nights ago, was super powerful. Um, like, I don't know how to explain it, guys, because some dreams that I have, the Lord, when I'm in the dream, His entire presence overtakes my entire soul, my spirit. Because you guys understand that we are spirit, soul, and body, and this body is just our vehicle that we have, our flesh, our bones, you know, that we, our vehicle that our spirit and soul live in but we are spirit beings as god is a spirit you know so it's hard to i'm gonna try to like i'm gonna pray to god ask him to help me truly under help help me truly communicate in words what i felt and what he told me because he did tell me some things in the dream so in the dream i was laying down on the couch uh with my family surrounding me and we were just watching tv as sometimes you know we get together and we watch tvs movies or whatever it is right and I'm sitting there in the dream watching TV and it's kind of night, it's nighttime and all the, all the light that is from the TV. And I look around and God shows me and he tells me, life will not continue as it always has. I'm coming. And then boom, his presence overtook my entire body from my head to my toe and his love. And I just started overwhelmingly crying in the dream and I just started feeling his love and his love is so powerful guys I'm telling you like in the dream I just felt so much love but so such an urgency to warn his people to warn the church to warn the people who don't know Christ to wake up it's time to awaken out of the slumber and then I awoke out of the dream and I started bawling because like the love of God is serious guys the love of God is so strong and it'll make a grown man cry I mean I'm seriously I'm not a grown man but I you know, I cried. I just was crying and I was praying to my father and I'm just like, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. But what that represented was, I believe the interpretation was truly that around me, guys, was just people go like in the days of Noah. So will be the coming of the son of man where there will be drinking, marrying, partying, you know, doing life as usual and just living life. And as nothing is coming, nothing is coming. But that dream that God spoke to me was a realization that we need to wake up and take the things of God serious. It's time to seek God with a whole heart, with a realization that we, our life is not our own. And we don't have a lot of time, guys. And if we truly believe the word of God and the seriousness of the gospel and the urgency that he's placing on the children of God, my brothers and sisters, you guys know time is short. Wake up, spread the gospel to every creature be the love of God and let us be ambassadors and represent Christ in us, the hope of glory and know that we are forgiven because of the blood of Jesus. Nothing we can do. We can earn this gift. Okay. We're saved by grace through faith, not of works. It is a gift of God, lest any man shall boast, but through that gift of God, through a man who knew no sin, who became sin so that we might become the righteousness of God. We have to repent. It's a relationship with Jesus Christ, repenting. If we love him, we will obey. Now, that obeying doesn't save us, obviously only the blood of Jesus, but that obeying keeps us in communion with the Father in relationship and praying to our Father, communicating with him day by day, picking up our cross, our life is not our own anymore when we come to Christ Jesus. Why? Because the power of Christ and the blood of Jesus just eliminated anything the works of the devil the victory is ours in Christ Jesus we're not fighting for victory we're fighting from victory and if we understand the revelation of Jesus Christ and the purity see any any grace that does not cause transformation is demonic 
Why? Because that grace empowers us to live the life Jesus called us to live. And that's through repentance and trusting the blood of Jesus fully. Coming to the grace, coming to the throne of grace boldly with confidence, not because of us. Why? Because we and our righteousness is nothing but filthy rags, but the righteousness of Christ imputed to us because of his blood sacrifice, because of God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever shall believe it on him shall have eternal life. Unless we believed in vain, let us check ourselves and examine our own hearts and realize that God, Jesus, is the only way, the way, the truth, and the life to the Father. Uh, I just want to read a little bit of from Proverbs 8 because this is wisdom. You know, seeking wisdom is the, the name of the uh, ministry that God gave me. Okay, guys, seeking wisdom. Proverbs 8, verse 6, we're going to start there. I'm not going to read all of it. It's a lot. I just want to share the key parts that really stood out to me. Listen to me, for I have important things to tell you. Everything I say is right, for I speak the truth and detest every kind of deception. And I want you guys to understand that wisdom is portrayed as a woman, portrayed as her and she and she is wisdom and God is wisdom right my advice is wholesome there's nothing devious or crooked in it my words are plain to anyone with understanding clear to those with knowledge choose my instruction rather than silver and knowledge rather than pure gold for wisdom is far more valuable than rubies nothing you desire can compare with it let's stop there guys nothing we desire can compare with the wisdom that God can give if we seek it wisdom far more rather than rubies silver and pure gold i really believed that do we believe the word of god because i really do and i really believe that if we seek wisdom more than anything physical more than anything we could ever desire it's better for wisdom let, let me continue all who fear the lord will hate evil therefore i hate pride and arrogance corruption and perverse speech common sense Common sense and success belong to me. Insight and strength are mine. Because of me, kings reign and rulers make just decrees. Rulers lead with my help and nobles make righteous judgments. I love all who love me. Those who search will surely find me. I have riches and honor as well as enduring wealth and justice. My gifts are better than gold, even the purest gold. My wages are better than sterling silver. I'm going to go a little drum forward. And so, my children, listen to me. For all who follow my ways are joyful. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Don't ignore it. Joyful are those who listen to me, watching for me daily at my gates, waiting for me outside of my home. For whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. But those who miss me injure themselves. All who hate me love death. If you hate wisdom, you love death. We can't argue with the word of God, but let's just really take that seriousness and know that Jesus is coming. It's time to get serious. It's time to seek the Lord with all our hearts, guys. I love you all, and I just know that God has placed this on my heart to be able to spread the gospel and communicate to my brothers and sisters that we really do need to seek the face of the Lord and trust in Him. And our redemption is nigh, guys. Be excited, guys. Just know that this life is nothing but a vapor, okay? It's short. This life and the suffering that we have, it's okay in this world to share in the sufferings of Christ. Rejoice with Christ. He suffered we're going to suffer. He was hated. We're going to be hated, but it's okay because shortly eternity with God and Jesus, it's going to be worth it, guys. There's many mansions in heaven. Just know that you have a name. Your name's written down in the book of life, Lamb's book of life, and we can be excited and joyful for the things of God. I love you all. Have a great rest of your day. God bless.